Yes, there are vegetarians and vegans that force their beliefs on others. And there are meat eaters. Oh boy, are there meat eaters who force their beliefs on vegans and vegetarians. This is my question. Why do you think campaigning for the needless slaughter of animals is a productive use of your time? Because on one hand, you have vegetarians saying, stop killing animals, you don't have to end their lives to enjoy what they produce. That being the nutrient-rich eggs and milk. Vegetarians say, hey, we don't have to kill animals just as intelligent as your house pets that you love so much, so why do it? And a lot of meat eaters, in response, act like these vegetarians and vegans are total freaks for doing what they do. When did refusing to kill become a freakish behavior? That to me makes no sense. I would however like to clear up a few things. One, the mass majority of chicken eggs are unfertilized, which means there's no baby growing inside them. Eggs are like periods for chickens, they have them regularly. Two, as far as vegetarians living a longer, healthier life, there has actually been individuals who have lived into their hundreds who have consumed primarily meats. In many cases, what it seems to come down to is genetics, but really, when you statistically look at the big picture, your risks are significantly increased when you consume red meat regularly. Three, being a vegan or vegetarian isn't about feeling better than everyone else. It's about taking responsibility for your lifestyle and trying to live clean, all the while optimizing your digestive system. But the reality is, is when you significantly concern yourself with the actions of others and try to change them and make them into what you perceive to be a better person, what you're really doing is setting yourself up for a lifestyle that's extremely stressful. So if you eat meat, that's your choice. I say again, it's your choice. I don't need supplements. I don't have any soul crippling dietary restrictions. It literally is don't eat meat. Eat everything else you want. But like I said, it's your choice if you choose to have a lifestyle that puts you at higher risk for cancer in various places of your body, that puts you at a higher risk for multiple failures in your body, then so be it. It's not illegal, so what can I say? What makes us winners in life is how we raise ourselves up, not how we put others down.